Hello. Hi. Cheers. What's happening? <laughs> We've done this intro so many times now. This is now. the third time. So We're so losing our patience. <laughs> so uh, this is this great. This is Aaron. This is Karina. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Correcto. <laughs> so... This is inexperienced. What have you done? Myself. What have you done? So this is inexperienced. On my titties. On my titties. On my titties. This is the uh, the tone of the podcast. Well, <laughs> You're welcome. You've set the tone. Karina's tits. I can't help it. I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm dribbling and titty. Oh no. This is recording, Karina. This is a fight. I'm not doing it again, Alex. <laughs> no, we can't do it again. We can't. That's to be the one. Okay. <sighs> Hi. Hello. This is inexperienced. The podcast. Yep. What the fuck is it? What is it? It is podcast about things that we're not that particularly in it, um, experienced <laughs> about, holy moly. We're not experienced with podcasting. Obviously uh, not, clearly. so please bear with us please, while we know. Please be patient. Um, um, yeah, um, we're going to be talking about things that baffle us or confuse us or intrigue us. Ooh, oh, caught my throat there. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, we're just going <laughs> to... This is going really well. It's like well. in and out at the same this time. Is that was so weird. <laughs> 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 I have a cold, so I sound very, very sexy right now. Oh, yeah. Usually I've got the tones of Barry White, but not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. Not today. Not today. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just a little introduction to episode one, because we want to tell you what we're doing, what this is. Um, there's going to be things on this podcast that are not suitable for children. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're kind of potty mouths. Just talk about my titties just now. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't give it away. <laughs> we're, we, we, we're kind of a potty mouth. Um, we are going to talk about sex. We're going to talk about relationships um, during this podcast, in this kind of first few episodes. It's going to be pretty frank. Yeah, it's yeah. It's going to be pretty, pretty bold. Um, no judgment, though. Karina. We're literally, this is just... Karina. <laughs> Judgy bitch. <laughs> so I'm on the show. Karina's horrible. Uh, yeah. But I'm no, a um, terrible human being. She is. She really is. I'm just on here to learn how not to be so terrible. Hopefully we'll get that. I mean. Maybe one day. Mm, it might yeah. make her worse. Yeah. Just keep pouring the drinks, Aaron. <laughs> and the so racist will come out. <laughs> no, it won't. Um, we are doing this as a non-judgy standpoint. We're just giving out the facts, really, and making it entertaining. It's just, it's just a discussion. Quite honestly, we're both pretty open-minded people anyway. I think so. Um, I think it's just about pushing that and um, exploring things that perhaps mm. yeah. we had thought of before and um, yeah. just uh, open it up for discussion, really. Yeah. And uh, just getting all those people out there to, to maybe you know, open your mind a little bit. Creak up in the door to the world of open mindedness. Yeah, sure that's right. That, that. <laughs> um, yeah, we're a bit mental. Um, we've kind of, this is the third time we're doing this, and the second one was kind of perfect. It was. I'm slightly pissed off. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> it's done. It's no, done. It's just done. It's over. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm excited though. Um, yeah, we're doing things like toxic masculinity, because we'll do social issues as well. Um, we're going to do things like polyamory. Polygamy, monogamy. Two different things. Feti- yeah, yeah. Do you know? It is. I do now. Fetishes. Mm-hmm. That's a fun one. Um, money. M- money, relationships, family. Whatever you think of, really. Yeah, anything. Um, we do have an email. It's on our Facebook. But um, we'll talk about that later. You can send us stuff if you want. Oh, yes, please. And we can just read them out and stuff. I love um, to read. I did reach out to Facebook on our, with my friends, our friends. We got a pretty good response, didn't we? We did, so we'll read some of them in the first episode as yeah. well. But uh, yeah, let's uh, roll that theme music. Here's Let's episode one. Hello, friends. Hi. Hi, this is Karina. This is Aaron. Cheers. Cheers. This is the inexperienced podcast, and our drink of the day, night, is uh, Cointreau <laughs> and Coke. Classy. Blood orange. Blood orange. That's why it's... Sexy, I feel like we've just come out of the 70s. <laughs> and what's sexier it, than the 70s? Um, I would say anything. <laughs> <laughs> just anything, really. Just, but fondue, man. I mean... Fondue. Oh, cheese fondue. I don't find that sexy. Oh, wait. That's another episode. That's the Karina's cheese fetish. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good cheese all up in there. Ah! <laughs> 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 Do you know, I think blood orange is very sexy though, isn't it? Like, 
blood orange. <laughs> Do you know what Give it a go, Karina. Blood orange. <laughs> Wait, ready? Blood orange. <laughs> All together now. Blood, Blood orange. orange. No, no, we're done. I think you can say anything in that tone. I've got him. Ovulation. <laughs> <laughs> Palmer ham. <laughs> <coughs> I do have a cold in my brain. Um, you suck. Oh, I'm, I'm dying a bit, but I needed to record this. So it's getting there. It's yeah. just a bit phlegmy. It's a bit phlegmy. 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 Throat. <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I'm good. Right. So, um, I'm warm. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. I'm so freezing. freezing. And I'm sweating. Freezing earlier. And then you were so kind. You were on the heating. Gave her a lion onesie. Oh my god, it was so it's so good. The it hood is good. actually the head of a lion. I felt kind of Not a real one. I'm I'm not like into animal fur and all that. Even though it was a fake one, I did feel quite like I don't know. Game of Thronesy, isn't it? Yeah, right. It's like I've got a fur cape. That is off. squishy. It's fine. I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? No, no, I'm really hot. But yeah, it is warm. I can't open a window really because you'll hear it and it'll just be noisy. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I just, I just in my head, I imagined you like going over to the window and the window going, "If you open me, I'm just gonna chat shit. I'm just gonna chat shit, mate." I'm just gonna chat shit about you. <laughs> you fucking I'm, dick of a window. Yeah, I do apologise for the coughing. Can we maybe not do that? Sorry, I'll stop dying. I'm going to drink more. We both took a sip. <laughs> not at the same Dead time. Ends. Not a good Dead idea. Silence. Dead air. Um, we're, getting, we're getting used to this, alright? Just yeah. give us a fucking break, alright? God. Yeah, mum. Because you're the only one that's going to listen to this. Judgy, Bev. Okay. <laughs> so judgy. God's sake, Bev. Okay, no, I love Bev. Okay, so today we are talking about toxic masculinity mm. and gender norms. Wee. Really fun, yes. really fun. Yep. But do you know what sparked this, Karina? Well, Karina does know because it was her idea. Yeah. So, so recently it's been the Gillette advert that's just gone out. Uh, people are fucking outraged by people. I yeah. mean, predominantly men, right? No, some women. Seen... Some women I've seen. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Weird. It's never just one or the other, is it? It's, it's always a mixture. But it does does seem to be mostly it's a very, lot very angry men. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, lot of testosterone. Um, it's swelling about the atmosphere. Uh, um, grim. I, I don't even like the sound of that. No, I don't. <laughs> it just sounds gross, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it does. Just, it sounds uh, a bit... It's it much like some of the comments. Yeah, uh, they're weird. So, so for those of you who haven't seen or heard about <coughs> the Gillette advert, uh, basically they have engineered an advert for their their product but doesn't mm. actually in my opinion doesn't actually point towards their products at all no. it's more a social statement social commentary thing isn't it yeah on Shall how I, i'll read are. the uh, so it's called we believe the best men can be and it's they titled it short film even though it's only a minute 48 so it's technically a long advert not a short film <laughs> Gillette. Where's the line, Gillette? It's not really a short film, is it? They've just... It's I not. liked it, though. I, I enjoyed it. We'll get to our ex um, opinions in a bit. In a bit. But, um, so, Gillette, they've put, Bullying, harassment. Is this the best a man can get? It's only by challenging ourselves to do more that we get closer to our best. To say the right thing, to act the right way, we are taking action, and then it says... They've got a website. Um, yeah. So, it's intriguing... Yeah. Should we read some of the comments that people have said? So, so basically, like the premise of the of the video is, it's like saying about uh, there's a clip a bit of Terry Crews talking about his sexual assault, how men should stand together. There's a bit about uh, boys being bullied. There's a bit about uh, the whole Trump thing, and mm. then the Me Too movement. It touches on that. There's some so like that's active the first bits. Thing. It's, it goes out to get with Me Too. It, yeah, it's like it's straight okay. away. And it's really about uh, how men, uh, men's reaction to that and how that how men should be, yeah. in a way. I mean, even then, the way I'm describing it is pretty, pretty subjective. It is, it is. But, but um, so some of the comments we've got, um, someone's like, oh, this was a Razor commercial. You wouldn't think it was, but it, it is. 
um, people are quite mad that they're not advertising razors, actually. No, if you if you scroll back up, right? Yeah. The way that we get, you can tell how people are just not loving this at all is, is the likes. Yeah, so, it's mad. So we got six. Was it six hundred and sixty-five? Thousand. thousand likes but 1.1 million dislikes which is insane which is it yeah that's that is the and it's reached a lot of people because they're they've already got 130,000 subscribers oh and they've God. just rocked it over so people aren't even seeing this in their subscription boxes i think they're on purpose looking for it to hate it oh it's definitely yeah are. it's been on this morning right as well uh, probably here's morgan oh here's morgan he's he's a yeah. Mm, bet, oh, what was you know, what was his opinion? I bet he was against it. So he it. said he his opinion on it was that it was vilifying men. That um, he felt as though men were were being told that they're predators. They have to be proven that they're not, rather than the other way around. That mm. it was a guilt trip. That it was telling men how to be. And uh, they had a guy on there who said toxic masculinity shouldn't be a phrase. That it masculinity is phrase. isn't a, a bad thing. That Men who want to be masculine should be allowed to be, oh, yeah. and then he swayed the argument towards uh, the. <clears throat> so so basically, there was a woman on it saying she thought she loved it. She said that it made her love men more. She thought it was a celebration of men and mm. how far attitudes have changed. And this other guy was like, "Well, no, because you're saying uh, masculinity is a bad thing, and I'm fed up with hearing that because it's not. It's, it's not uh, it's an not identity. Bad thing. It's like." Yeah, exactly. You know, no one's saying that. But no, one, no one's argument. saying that masculinity is a bad thing. It's when it gets toxic, it's bad. Um, it's like saying there's, there's, there's probably there definitely is toxic femininity as well. There'll be the same thing. Oh yeah, of course. So you're not feminine enough. You don't shave your legs. That kind of thing. Oh, you don't. But, well, that's another episode. <laughs> Feminism is another episode in but, it completely. The point, but the point is, uh, toxic masculinity is about pigeonholing every mm -hmm. single man in the same way. Yeah, and it's, it's putting the same yeah. pressures on on men to be a certain way. Yeah, and that's what's unhealthy. Yeah, masculinity it's so unhealthy. in itself isn't it, the concept itself isn't unhealthy. Yeah. it's the constant uh, negative reinforcement mm. that comes from from maybe not exhibiting masculine features, thing like traits if you're yeah, a male. Completely. It's and we are forgetting that there is well recently it's coming to light um, with musicians like Sam Fender doing it um, and oh, yeah. you know other people are talking about male suicides. It happens unfortunately, it really does, um, and it's mainly because of the stigma that men have attached to them that they've got to be manly or they've got to provide for their family. They've got to be the breadwinner. They've got to be a man. They've got to man up, which is the most fucking horrible phrase in the world I, I hate it man up it's something I've actually learned quite recently though because I used to say that a lot oh I, I did younger. I did as well there's a lot of things you used to say when I was younger that I just didn't really appreciate I used to use gay as an insult yeah oh my god me too it's like, so gay yeah wouldn't dare do it now obviously now you know <laughs> yeah <I'm laughs> well, oh okay that's a bit offensive whoa why is why is that a negative thing yeah you know, derogative isn't it but it's not yeah, um, yeah it's, it's definitely how you brought up. Some people choose to grow out of it, which is good. It's always like, I've heard once that somebody said, um, it's the, the first thing you think is what you've been taught. The yeah. second thing that you think is who you are. Ooh. Right? That's nice. So once I saw this woman walking down the road and I thought, oh my God, her makeup's horrible. <laughs> and then in my head I went, right, you shut your mouth, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know, she likes it, she's comfortable, she's confident, and she's doing it her way, so yeah. you can shut your mouth. And for a long time, I really beat myself up about the, mm. that first voice. Mm. But when I read that, I realised that I would never have acted on that first voice. It's human instinct, isn't it, in a way? It's the... Yeah. I think we've, all, we've got it in us, we do judge instantly. Of course, because we've been brought up in this media with like, Regina George and mm. like all like in, uh, Mean Girls and stuff yeah. like that. You're brought up to, for, for women being horrible and yeah. in the same sense if you think of it in the same film mm. the boys are a certain way yeah. the guy in it he's outcasted in a sense with the other outcast mm -hmm. because of he doesn't fit the the gender norms same of, yep gender norms right high school musical troy bolton he likes musicals that's weird how can he do that and like sports fucking ridiculous disney get your ass in the game come on but it's it, it gets me angry it does get me really angry but um some more comments. Um, they're saying there's sexism, sexism against men. Is that okay? I don't know what to say to that, really. What does is that, that mean? Is that all it says? 
So it raised awareness of sexism against men. I can't say that word. Sexism against men. I don't understand. Um, I don't get it either. Can That's we look stupid. at those replies? What they said, what they said. Um, they weren't aiming for that, obviously. Um... Um, oh, someone's bringing racism into it. That's, oh, not, that's not even part of it. No, Nothing to do with the advert. Um, okay, oh. and then, no, they're trying to reverse oh my it. God. That's not even, no, no, that's the saying about females are just as bad. That's not the point. That's not the point. That, that's a lot of the argument. It's kind of deflecting from what the, the men, actual point yeah, is. Yeah, men do that. So when you watched it, what did you, oh, yeah, so what my, did you feel? At first, I was like, because I watched it going in thinking, well, I was kind of blinded by all the hate. I was like, why is there so much controversy? I went in there looking for faults. Um, didn't find any, actually, the first time. I was like, I don't get it. What's the, what's the whole, what's the controversy? Um, controversy, controversy, however you want to say it. I didn't get it at all. Mm. I was like, what? What's happening? I don't get it. So I watched it a second time and I liked it. I really liked it. It was nice. It was kind of men's apology letter, in a way. Like, sorry that we, some of us have been dicks. It's not saying we're all dicks, but it's saying, sorry, some of us are awful. Um, then it showed some good examples on there. Like, one that really got me was the woman in the, woman in the workplace. And the man goes, what she really meant was this. Oh, yeah. That got me. I was, what a beautiful that was a good moment. second moment. Literally, it's so yeah. quick. Yeah. But it's, it's perfect. perfect with that, isn't it? It's all perfect. Mansplaining, basically. I was like, no, she can speak for herself. She's managed to get in the office. Where you are, fuck off. But um, yeah, I, I, it hit me in that, that respect. Um, I liked it. It was a bit cheesy, but you know, I liked it. I liked the message. And when I when I was yeah, it's oh, so American. They called, <laughs> they called it a short film. It's an advert. But um, when I was growing up, I felt like I didn't fit into the mold of a real man because I'm a bit camp. Um, I'm you know I and because of the toxic masculinity. During school, I would constantly assess my actions, assess how I'm walking, assess what my hands are doing. It's ridiculous. Now I flounce around freely and it's great. But <laughs> You do flounce. I do great. flounce. I love a flounce. Do a little bouncy but it's oh, I'm so bouncy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. That's been put on me. Like, you're not a man and you've got, not got a woman on your arm. and It's shit. But I, the advert felt like an apology to me, personally. Yeah, and that's interesting, what about isn't you? it? I see. I didn't know about it until I saw this meme that somebody had showed. A meme. Meme. A meme. Meme. What is meme? Um, and it was Gillette was like, just respect everyone, and then underneath it was a picture of The Simpsons when they are there's like a mob scene, and it says, oh, "Love, it's got legs, break them." Oh and yes, I was yes, like, "What is this about?" So <laughs> I I looked at that thinking. Not really knowing what was going on, yeah. but thought I would watch the advert anyway. And um, it made me all warm and fuzzy, and it yeah. made me love, like, the same way that women on this morning, it made me love men. Uh, because it just made me think of all the beautiful men I know in my life. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, who are the change, are the face of change, mm. and who are are pushing for their own rights and their are supporting one another and propping one another up the way that they should be and it just made me all fuzzy and warm yeah, and nice. I was like, this is great, men are great, the world is going to go in the right place, you know. Uh, so I couldn't, again, I couldn't understand all the hate but when you read through the comments, I think, like personally for me, anyone who I've spoken to who uh, who are, who's male, whose ideas sort of align with mine, they have all said... Yeah, it's good. It, if anything, it opens up the debate. One of my friends said it's actually scary that people are fighting against mm. a, a message as simple as just be respectful of one another. Yeah, it's not even saying. How men bad are awful. is that? How like Gillette are saying we're going forward because their slogan was like the best a man can get, mm. and they've been. And if you look very typically through their adverts and things, oh, it's they're quite, so yeah, they're so. Stereotypical, aren't they? Yeah. A handsome man shaving with a woman literally on his shoulder. Yeah, exactly. But then also through the time, it's regenerated. It's almost Gillette saying, "Hey, we're changing too." Yeah, yeah. You know, in the advert, there's a clip of this guy who there's his boys fighting mm. in the street, and there's this guy who comes in, 
and he gets in between him and he stops him from fighting. He says, "Look, this is not the way." You like you you told by your by your friends that this is like this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is like this is the way to prove mm. yourself. It isn't. Yeah, you've got to be that. You've got to be a real man. Real men like mm. they they apologize. They 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 up you know they're upfront with their their uh, mistakes. Yeah, you know? they face them. And he got these two two teenage boys to shake hands in front of all their friends. It was recorded. It went viral. Yeah, and that's what I love about this is it said, yeah, so some, some guys did this, but, you know, guys are now doing this. And there was a whole thing a little bit earlier saying, oh, boys will be, will be boys. It's like, oh, no, they won't. Boys will be boys. Will that's be boys. That's the worst phrase ever. Yeah. But I found some nice more comments as well. Um, this one made me laugh, actually. It says, just the type of social commentary I look for in my shaving gel. <laughs> Lol. It's a good point. Again, it's, it's a, a good, good point. point. Like, who is it to be like? Why is it Gillette that I do it? Like, yeah. I feel like they've gone above their station a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. You're just a raised company guy. Yeah, people are saying it's cringy. Um, they're going to throw away a lot of products. Um, why? Yeah, I don't get it. People are saying but boycott Procter boycott. and Gamble, which is the parent company. It's like, what? So you're going to boycott things like, uh, I think, Persil, all those washing up liquids and all that. You're mm-hmm. going to boycott them as well. Okay, Head cool. and shoulders, all that. Okay. Have fun with that, mate. You'll be filthy. What? I also, <laughs> so my dad, right, he's a white, middle-aged, working-class man. Lovely and guy. I said, and he's really nice. Hello, and I said to him, hi, dad. <laughs> and I said to him, um, have you seen this advert? And he said, I know people are really annoyed about it. And I said, well, can you can you watch it? Let me know. And even my dad, who will, who will for the sake of an argument, say the most ridiculous things, he just said to me, no, not really. Don't know what why Gillette's saying it. <laughs> uh, but it, he wasn't offended. No. And I just think, I just, I just don't under. Yeah. I think it's people. I think it's people who watch it who see their own behaviour being exhibited and put in a different, in a horrible light. Yeah. Then, when they recognise themselves as the baddie in that, that's when they complain. That's the thing, isn't it? That's when they're like, "What the fuck." This yeah, I mean, if, yeah, not. you know that you've got you're the issue. If you're you have a if you have a problem with this advert, you know that you probably are a bit guilty of some of this stuff. Yeah, like you still don't think... protest too much. Yeah. What what you let us say is let's move forward, and these other people say let's just keep doing what we've been doing all this time. Let's go to war because it's obviously products. been working. Yeah, no. So let's uh, get away from the stupid YouTube comments. Should we go to Facebook? Yeah, let's do that. Um, these are anonymous. We're keeping anonymous for now. See the anonymity. Love that word. Mm. Anonymity. So that mouthful of fluid. Oh my god, what? That I'm sounds drinking. Just... Come on, Karina, they can't see you. I'm drinking. I've got a mouthful of fluid. I've got a mouthful of Disgusting. blood orange. <laughs> blood orange. Okay, so, um, yeah. So, uh, we've got people. Oh, basically, I asked my friends on Facebook. Because we haven't got any fans yet. Three of them. Fuck off. I'm one of them. Lol. My mum didn't comment. What? I know. Hello, mum. So people are saying, right, I'll read some comments out anyway. I basically asked them, what's your opinion? And I didn't show my opinion because I wanted to keep it non biased. Just to get some. I was hoping some people would disagree with the advert, but I'm struggling to find people that are disagreeing with. Yeah. I'm glad I'm not their friend. Just <laughs> so, um, one of my friends has said, I think all the people who have made a very public statement about throwing their Gillette stuff in the bin and never buying their products again is an out- in an outrage response to it are overreacting just a tad. You know, the same kind of level as burning down a house to kill a spider. Um, <laughs> he also says nice. that it's, he's sl- it's slightly cheesy, but we need, um, we need more businesses and role models to kind of endorse this message and not be dicks. Um... And he's put the whole man up thing. Just such a toxic phrase, isn't it? Man up. Yeah, I love what he said at the bo- at the end. Yeah, man up now. Be better. That's more like it. Yeah, I like that. Nice. Um, someone said it's excellent, very current. Um, and it takes a spin of... Uh, it's been on a branch of advertising that has been done to death. I like that. Um, yeah. I like that. It's good. It is. It's another way of my own, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah, and it, it's, it's really interesting. We've got... Um, yeah, I mean, most people are saying 
the response is ridiculous and ignorant. They're ignoring the message and taking offence. And when watching the advert, the only thing I thought was it conveyed, hey guys, we have a lot of good guys out there, but we also have a few bad guys out there too. How about everyone treats everyone with respect? Don't be sexist, don't bully, be nice. That's yeah. the message. Be nice. Yeah. That yeah, is it. And yeah, um, it's just, yeah, I like it. I haven't said what I meant. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, someone said, if Piers Morgan is offended by it, it must be a good thing. <laughs> very yes. true very true thank you for uh, commenting on that post guys much appreciated um, you can email us I will find the email bear with me um, we do have a Facebook page as well you can message us on there you can also what's the Facebook page uh, oh yeah I just look for know. Inexperience the podcast I've made you an admin on it mate <laughs> <laughs> Karina's brilliant on Facebook I'm so <laughs> technically about do, 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 do. Anyway, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> at the moment we're already on Spotify as well, but um, we I know about that, and maybe YouTube, but we're not sure yet. But anyway, mm. um, yeah, our email is inexperiencedpodcast at hotmail dot com. That's inexperiencedpodcast at hotmail dot com. What is it, Karina? Mm-hmm. It's right there, mate. Inexperiencedpodcast at hotmail dot com. This is teaching Karina how to read. Woohoo! Yeah! That's really good. It's a big word in experience. It is, isn't it? It's I-N-E... Not... I'm kidding. Jesus. I don't know how to spell it. Yeah, right. Z on there somewhere. <laughs> Inexperience podcast at hotmail.com. Email us your questions. Email us whatever you like, really. Yeah, guys. No, you know, it's good. Honestly, it doesn't even have to be on topic. I'm no. Like, I'll, I'm going to want to read it. Oh, I love reading I'm things. I'm a nosy, nosy monkey. M- monkey. Also, you know, if you want us to discuss anything... Just yeah. send that in. Definitely. We'll talk about that. Have a little chat. Chitty chat chat. Chitty chat chat. Yeah, I think it's good, isn't it? But um, anything else we need to mention, really? But, you know, toxic masculinity. I think it's... Call it out, guys. Yeah, I mean... That's what Jeanette is saying as well. It's, it is going out in the public now. Um, Like, the thing of male suicide is being more... Uh, people are being more aware of it now, which is nice. You know, well, not nice. <laughs> it's good. Whoa. It's good. No, it's good. Um, it is good. My, it rec- my, re- my recommendation of the day would be uh, listen to Sam Fender, a song called Dead Boys. Really good. Like, it's powerful. Mm-hmm. It makes me cry a little bit. But it's good. Um, yeah, I think it's really interesting, isn't it? Yeah. If you want... Um, it still happens. If you want advice or help, mm. Calm is an excellent website. It's a... Suicide prevention, and specifically designed for men. Mm. If you're worried about someone, you know, pass them on that number, talk to them, talk about it. Yeah. You know, the best that you can do, you know, get in there. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, you never know. You never know what anyone's going through. So, mm. just, uh, yeah, CALM is the C-A-L-M. I think it's like, I can't remember what it stands for now. Should I? Should I quickly Google it? Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's verify that. Don't look at my search history. Oh, Craigslist. Who? <laughs> Who's Craig, List? Who's Craigslist? What? Who's Mr. List? Um, where is it? Is that it? No. Nope. Nope. That one. Campaign Against Living Miserably. There you go. Oh. So that's the www.thecalmzone.net. Yeah, I think it's an important one to go to, guys, definitely. Um, like Dave, uh, they're teaming up with them as well, which is really good. Um, yeah, so I think it's brilliant. You so, can sign up to a newsletter, there's numbers on there, mm. there's a text thing as well if you need support. Yeah, yeah. get on there, it's well good. I it's think we're really going we'll to have to contact them, I think, and try and maybe do an episode. Maybe. Well, maybe not. But yeah. maybe. I think it's good to have resources available. We'll try and be helpful to you when we can. But, uh, I had fun. Me too. I had a good rant. I feel good about it. I'm all pink in the cheeks from the alcohol. You are pink in the cheeks. How do you know that? Yeah. Can you feel it on your cheeks? Yeah, I'm hot. I'm hot in the cheeks. It's like a little rainbow. It's got a red nose as well. Apparently I blush like that. I blush too much. It's a problem and I should get that seen too. Oh, rosacea. Yeah, rosacea. Rosacea. (laughs) Once I was in hospital when I had my tonsils out. And the nurse didn't want to let me home because she thought I had a temperature because of my cheeks. <laughs> and then my dad walked in 
and he's got the same. <laughs> and she went, do you know what? You can go home. Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! Brilliant! That's hilarious. I love that. It's a, it's a myth, by the way, if you have your tonsils out. It's not ice cream all day, every day. Oh. It's bloody dry toast, guys. Do you want more ice cream? No. Dry, dry toast. Oh, that's shit. What, even butter to lube it down your throat? I tell you what, lube <laughs> had to lube a pessary to go up my bum bum. Okay, thank you guys. I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.